Hey, 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 my pretty ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If I know how I am, I'm Suki. Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the notification bell so anytime that I do new upload, you be the first person to know. Now, you guys, I really don't have much to say. I really, really, really don't have much to say because you can clearly see my face, you can see my eyes. If you guys really, really want to see what products I used to achieve this eyeshadow look, and how it works on my skin tone, on my skin type, and on your girl Suki. And you just curious? Stay tuned and let's get straight into this video. Alright, hey my pretty. So you guys see my last unboxing from... I have to believe Beauty Bay. Yeah, from Beauty Bay. If you guys know, you know. If you know, baby, you know. All right, so we are here with the J palette, you guys. This is it right here. This is what we're going to go do today. So this is the outer carton of it. So we're going to go ahead and open her up. And when you take it out, it looks one and the same, you guys. It's so beautiful. It's the front. That's the front. And then this is the back, you guys. So what I'm really, really loving is that it has like textured glitter. It's almost like 3D. It's matte and glossy at the same time, you guys. I really, really love that. Really, really beautiful, you guys. And it's nice and heavy. It's a nice, heavy palette, okay? Beauty Bay Jade Palette. So here is the inside, you guys. It does come with a mirror. And here are the beautiful shades. All right, so this palette has 42 color shades. Each one has 0 0.5 ounces in each pan. All right, so it has 24 matte shades and 18 shimmer shades. And some of those shimmery shades look like they're metallic. Dude. All right, you guys, so this is the palette. I think she's giving what she's supposed to give and it's gonna do what it needs to do because I love their eyeshadows. The formula is very, very beautiful, you guys. It's like a creamy, formula but it's not creamy if them it just it just glides on so smoothly so beautiful so it's really really pretty you guys so we're gonna go ahead and use this palette today and if you guys want to see swatches head over to my instagram okay i'm gonna leave that right there and you guys can see those swatches all right you guys so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go in with our p louise base and rumor zero three i want to put this place this all over the lid a good tip before eyeshadow is to make sure your lids are not oily or shiny keep that to the side if you want to add more you can and then I want to take my um, M173 brush and I'm going to go ahead and flatten this base out and if you feel like your base is not moving it's for a reason something ain't right okay, flatten this base all the way out If you don't pat the base, it will move. Like if you start to move it, it will drag across. It will, it will, it will move. Okay, trust me. It will surely move. And then I like to go in and just buff it into that concealer on the edges. Oh my god, just fucking fly. I like to go up on because I have wrinkles right here, so I have to go up and down on those wrinkles. All right, y'all, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, um, some of the names on the palette is Good Vibes Only, Thorn, uh, Red Planet, Space Jam, like that. What's Your Sign, Hun, Angels of the North, Halo, 2222, Sand Dancer, After Motion, Milky Way, uh, Earthial, Natural Beauty, Soul, Soul, Soulmate, um, Alien, Love, Aquata, Jade, Horizon, Zodiac, Capricorn, uh, Mother Earth, so on and so forth. It's a lot of names, you guys. It's 42 shades. That's why. I'm like, just go to my, um, my Instagram if you guys want to see swatches. Again, those are the shades. And it does come with a mirror, okay? So I'm just gonna um yeah go ahead and get started. 
All right, you guys, so I have the Pride Morphe brushes that just came out this year. I'm going to go ahead and use this set right here, you guys. I'm going to take this brush right here. This one is actually the Nikita Dragon brush. This is the number three. I'm going to go on with this blue shade. Make sure your base is flat, okay? Wherever you're about to put the eyeshadow, make sure it's flat, honey. All right, let's go ahead and pick up that color. That's what it looks like, you guys. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm going to shake that off. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying this eyeshadow. I'm going to put this like more towards the middle. I'm just going to start patting it in. I just want to start pat, pat, patting it in. Just right there. Just like that. Alright, we're going to stop right there with that color. We're going to just, we're not going to go to do too much, okay? Because we are going to cut our crease today. We're going to stop right there, okay, you guys? I'm going to take that same brush. And now we're going to go into this, blue sh this darker blue shade, okay? And I'm going to put that on the bottom part of that color using the same brush there's rules there's rules to make up but you don't always have to follow those rules you can always do what makes you comfortable and what makes you happy so that is what I'm doing so yes yes honey yes okay now clean that brush off okay I'm gonna go into this lighter blue shade but I'm gonna mix it with that other blue that we use like kind of go back and forth mix the shades together to make my own blue but first I want to see how this one looks that's very pretty I'm gonna put that on the on this side part up here nope no mixing the colors it's so 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 pretty look at that color you guys oh my god oh my god it's so pretty and what you want to do now is just to start to blend that shade over into that other shade okay that's what we're going to do hunty want to just start blending pick up some product and blend back toward the other shade look how pretty that is already we ain't even did nothing what did we do y'all what did we do hardly anything right we hardly did anything like that's just that's just the beauty of makeup honey like period <laughs> okay I'm basically gonna be using like the same brush you know for a minute okay if you guys don't mind all right now we're gonna go ahead and go into this shade here and we're gonna put that more towards the inner part of the eye look at that beautiful right let's put that shade right here okay just tap that shade right on in there it should blend beautifully into that blue and then start blending backwards okay that's what you want to do right there i'm telling you these palettes are so amazing you guys the shades blend together so beautifully like it's so amazing look at that it took no work i hope you guys can really see it because what i'm seeing is just beautiful it's just beautiful just beautiful and it's right above that crease because we're placing the crease the colors right above that crease so perfectly to where when you go in to cut it it won't be work no work at all you feel what i'm saying like no work at all kind of blow this color out Start blending it out. Okay, there we go. Blow that color out, honey. So at this point, since we have that beautiful, beautiful color down, we're gonna go back into that light blue shade that we put down right there, and we're gonna put her back now. We want her to be visible, okay? And just go ahead and start blending that color on top because that is like a really pretty color, but it got lost. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and blend this color all the way over because what I want to do is make sure I can blend that blue when I go back into it, which we're going to do next. All right, clean that brush off. Go back into that regular blue color, that, that one there, and blend. And blend, blend. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? All right, so we are still using the same brush, you guys. But now we're going to go ahead and go into this shade right here. This shade and then this shade. That is a very, very beautiful shade. I'm going to place this shade right at the back, okay? Right here. I know that would be odd, but I feel like it would be beautiful. I'm going to have a hard time mixing the shades. And you might not. You have to see. Let's find out. 
all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and leave it right there just for a moment I want to take a loose setting powder you can use any type of setting powder that you prefer that you like and we're going to set the rest of the eye because I want to be able to blend these blow these colors out and blend them you know good I'm gonna go ahead and set all around here with this setting powder it's okay your colors might get lost but you can bring them back I'll go ahead and set all around here okay like so and then now we're gonna go back into those colors we put down okay now we're gonna go with that orange shade that I did show you guys that one right there and we're gonna go ahead and put that on the outer parts of that shade look how beautiful that is so beautiful right at this point any shade that you feel like needs to be replaced go ahead and do that like there's nothing at all go ahead and put these colors right back down honey place them back down baby like ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you if you do <laughs> you just want to put your colors back down if you feel like they got lost that's what it's all about you just want to put those colors back down if you feel like they got lost honey that's it that's it that's all you gotta do don't get scared don't you know just keep going until it comes out to your desired look something that you want not what everybody else want what you want you got to keep that in mind not what everybody else is doing what you can do all right you guys so that looks really good to me really really good now you can go ahead and just cut your crease with a q-tip if you like to or you can just go ahead and put more base down so it, it, it's either way you feel however you feeling you feel what i'm saying like period i'm going to go ahead and go on that room zero three base again and i'm going to use my um i'm going to use my m166 brush the one i used for my brows I'm just gonna clean up the crease because it's not that bad you know I don't have to go in and, and wipe anything out because it's not it's bad it, it's not bad at all so I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and cut her that's basically what I want right there just that simple you guys all right so that's what we're gonna go for you guys like I said nothing nothing too hard just something simple so that's it right there so you guys can clearly see that that is cut it's not a hard cut like this is really easy you guys this is something that look at this this fly is getting on my nerves um yeah it's a really easy cut to do you guys so keep that in mind i just kind of pat it just pat it in there you know that's what i did i just pat so yeah you guys there it is i patted my i patted it in all the way across then i went in on the on it and just patted it down some more you want to be able to pat it so that the base is nice and flat okay you guys know i couldn't wait to do this palette but you know life honey life <laughs> all right so now i'm going to go ahead and go on with this brush right here this one is the p20 brush and I'm going to go back into that burgundy shade that I did put down. And I'm going to place that on the outer parts of my eye. Right here, okay. This is a more fluffier brush. And it's longer too, like, it's a longer brush basically. And I'm just going to pat this in here, okay. I went back in with the Nikita Dragon Brush. It works better. And I'm going to pat this shade in. Now I just feel like now I feel like I need to go in with a darker shade to darken up the outer corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here, which is darker. It's like a burgundy brown color. And I'm gonna place that shade right there. Alright, so we're gonna stop that right there, okay? <laughs> we're gonna stop that right there, honey. I wanna take this one right here. This is the P11. And I'm gonna go into that blue shade that I put here. And I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my eye. But make sure, you're, again, make sure your base is nice and flat before you start any application. Okay. And just start putting that shade in there. Start pressing her in. 
you can go in with shimmers right here on this part if you like to. Now using this brush there is with some fallout. You can go as far as you like with this shade, it's up to you. All right, so now I'm gonna take that green shade that I put, no, this one, that lime green shade that I put on the inner part of my eye, I wanna put that right next to that shade. But this time, I'm gonna use this brush. Is that it? Yeah. I'm gonna pat that shade in there. And this is where you can start over, this is where you start overlapping those colors. All right, and since we got that shade down, we're gonna go back in with it to make it more vibrant. So don't worry, we're gonna make it brighter. At this point, I just wanna get all the shades that I want down. I wanna get them down, okay? <laughs> I wanna get them down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade here. We're using the same brush, you guys, okay? Same brush. I'm gonna place that shade on the outer part of that shade. Yes, come through, palette. Can you guys see what I'm saying? How beautiful this is? Like, oh my God. And as you're doing that, go ahead and start blending that shades into the other shades, okay? Like so. It looks a little bit misplaced at the moment, but we're gonna go ahead and start blending. So I'm gonna go back into that green shade and I feel like it will blend outward this way very well. You see that? You see the difference how this one's choppy and this one's not? I'm gonna get rid of that choppy. That is so pretty, you guys. So what I'm gonna do, I think this is good to me. This is really, really good. Like, I like the way the colors are blending out. I like the way they blend together. Like, I really, really like this. Like, no cap. Like, this is so, so, so pretty. So what I want to do is go ahead and go off camera, finish up the rest of my face, you guys, and come and give you guys my final look and my final thoughts. All right, my lip pretty ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished look going in with my beautiful Jade palette, you guys. So what I think of the palette, it's beautiful. Like at the end of the day, I love Beauty Bay's eyeshadows. They blend so well together. It feels like they're creamy almost like like I said before like it's almost like a cream but it's not and when you just dab it onto your lid with a nice thick base it just it melts it melts into the skin you guys like you could even use this some of these pink and orange shades out of here you can use them as a blush they blend into the skin so bomb that's how bomb they are you guys really 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 pretty love this palette you guys um like I said if you guys want swatches on this palette leave me a green heart down below and i will do swatches on my instagram i might just do it anyway but yeah we'll do that and yeah i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i love you guys till next time bye